Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. As you can see today we're going to be reviewing Chocolate Volcano from the Heavy Seas Brewing Company. If you haven't seen some of my previous videos about beer and salsa reviews, please go back and check those out when you get a chance. But thank you for joining me here today. Rams have just won the Super Bowl, so that's uh, pretty exciting. If you guys don't know, the Rams used to be a Cleveland franchise way, way back in the day, in the early days of football. So, kind of exciting. It almost seemed like two Cleveland teams, even or two Ohio teams, Cincinnati and uh, the Rams. Even though L.A. won it, happy for L.A. Good job, guys, winning your home stadium. So, I thought they got quite a few chances there on uh, that uh, – trip in the red zone, but that, that's beside the point. I'm not here to discuss the game all too much, but this is a Chocolate Volcano Heavy Seas Beer, Fearless, Bold, Independent. Chocolate Volcano blasts your tongue with a lava flow of velvety richness overflowing with a decadent chocolate flavor. You better take cover. Chocolate Volcano erupts all year. 9% alcohol by volume and it's made by the Heavy Seas Beer Company, Independent Craft Brew, Baltimore, Maryland. So let's get into it. Let's see what this tastes like. This was $2.30 for one bottle. I do believe they sell these in six packs as well. So we're just going to pour some of that. See how much of a head we get on there. It does kind of smell like a chocolate lava cake. Let's see how it tastes. Not bad at all. It's a real strong, heavy brew. If you like a real thick beer, this is definitely a beer for you. I would definitely check that out. If you like chocolate, it does have a high bit of chocolate tones to it, so... That's good, and if you like a strong beer, it's a beer for you. So 9%, not quite as strong as some of the beers overseas, but still for an American beer, it's about double a typical light beer. is about 4.5%. So the alcohol content's definitely there for a beer. Excuse me. Didn't pour out a ton of foam on it either, which was nice. I'm trying to see if I get any, any hints of aftertaste with this at all, but uh, not seeming to be the case. It seems to go down pretty smooth. But I guess it's not overbearing either. So it's not like eating a chocolate bar, you know, wouldn't quite compare it to eating a chocolate bar. By the way, let me know what you think of the new setup. Leave a comment down below. I got these lights for my birthday for my sister, and uh, I like them way better than the fluorescent overlight that I had before. Uh, it's a different tone of the room. It's not like an overbearing light. Let me know if you like this lighting better, or if you like the overhead fluorescent lighting better. There's the fluorescence still there, but... Now, my wife took a sip of this, and she thought it was bitter. But if you like a little bite to your beer, then uh, I guess you can't go wrong with this one. It does have a slight bite to it, but... It's not like drinking like a pine tree IPA or something, if you know what I'm saying. You know, with a super hoppy pine taste to it. It's, it's not like that. Give that a minute to settle on the tongue. I do like it. I can't complain about it. Not not too much of a downside to it. Although I think maybe if I had a complaint, it would be like put more chocolate in it even. 
I can taste the chocolate, but it's, it's like I said, it's not super overbearing. It's not like taking control with the chocolate or anything, but I guess the alcohol percentage definitely makes up for it. Pretty solid beer overall. Got a few high, uh, heavy seas beers before then. No, not a bad brewing company. Not at all. Let me know down below if you've seen these nearby or if you've had one before. Definitely let me know down in the comments section down below. So guys, I am on YouTube and Rumble, keeping it real reviews and keeping it real. So definitely check those out. If you're into beer reviews, it's the place for you. So take another sip here. So it was our last few sips. I think I'm uh, going to go ahead and try to wrap this one up. Give it one more sip here. And then give it a review. We're going to go on an 8 to 10. Or uh, 1 out of 10 scale here. And I kind of just gave it away. So yeah, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. Pretty solid, not the best beer I've ever had, far from the worst. It does have a lot of flavor to it. It is a pretty heavy beer with a high alcohol content to it. So, uh, yeah, if you like that kind of beer, then that, this is definitely the beer for you. I highly recommend it. Can't say anything bad about it. Again, this is not a sponsored video. This is 100% honest. If you're interested in doing any kind of sponsorship, Please get in contact with me. Appreciate you guys for watching. Stick around for the next one. We're going to have other porters to review and another chocolate beer as well to review. So stick around for those. Until next time. Cheers.